All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, IMU sensors here. Now, I'm not going to go through the steps of calibrating it. I have another video on that. And uh, if you're reading this on the blog article, you probably see that video. The steps to calibrate both sensors are actually the same. In the software, in the new 32-bit version of the software, uh, there's an option to select camera IMU, and then you would go through the six-point calibration with that. And then there's an option for frame IMU, which is this one back here and you would go through the same six point calibration with that as well. So check out that video, you would just do the same for both sensors one at a time. Uh, what I'm gonna talk about is the position of the sensors, the way you mount it. Now, uh, I think earlier you may, may have seen that um, I said it doesn't matter which direction you actually mount the sensors. Um, the front one is designed to fit this way, but the rear one could actually be this way or flipped upside down or whichever way you plan on mounting it. The important thing is in the software you have to configure what is the top axis um, and what is on the right side. So they, they use those two variables there to figure out which way you're mounting your IMU. Now there are some markings here and if it's not clear to you because it wasn't very clear to me, um, you could plug the, the gimbal up to your computer, move the sensors around and figure out which is uh, Z, X and Y. Um, Z will always be on the top of the sensor. Uh, X will always be on the right side. Um, but it's not very clear here which is X and which is Y. Uh, so what I figured out was um, going through the software, uh, definitely Z is always on the top and X is always on the right. Um, but to figure that out, Y for me, um, same for you, Y is always going to be where the cables are connected on both sensors here. So. Uh, when you're mounting the sensor in this direction, here's my little map that I use to kind of figure it out. Um, so Z is on the top, it's going to lay flat like this. Y is going to be where the cables connect. X is going to be on the right side, which because this is mounted here is going to be on the front. So in the software, when it asks you which is your, the right side of your sensor uh, or how you're mounting your sensor, you're gonna say negative Y, and then Z is gonna be at the top. So Z at the top, negative Y for the front sensor. Now the rear sensor, depending on which way you have it mounted, um, because Y is where the cables are, my Y is here at the top. So that's the way I've mounted mine. And so in the software, when I say what is the right side, now because this sensor is facing in that direction, uh, or on the other side of the post, my right side, because you gotta face from behind the camera, my right side is going to be negative X. So in the software, if you're mounting it similar to mine, uh, Z, uh, actually for the frame IMU, your top axis is going to be Y and your right axis is going to be negative X. Uh, and for this one here, Z is going to be at the top, negative Y is going to be towards the right. So hopefully that kind of clears that up. Um, and if you happen to mount it in reverse, you would rotate this. So then your top axis here is going to be negative Y and X. So uh, however you guys mount it, hopefully that'll help you figure that out. But you have to have that in order to make sure that everything is working properly. So that is a tip on the uh, IMU um, sensors. Again, take a look at the other video for calibrating these things. And uh, I'll get to the next step in the next video.